Hello guys, today I'll be showing you how to run your Spring Boot project using uh, IntelliJ and Maven. So, first of all, for going Spring Starter, so first I will be opening the documentation. So, for that, you type Spring Boot Maven and you will be directed to the I mean, you can get the documentation of official documentation of Spring and you need about 15 minutes and java install in the system so if you have installed java then it's fine so if you haven't installed i will be putting the link in the description to how to install and to check the version type java version so if you have installed java so this yeah, it will show the message like this so if you haven't installed java so it won't show the version or the message like this so you need to first install the java to run the spring boot, the spring boot project and second thing is you need id so i'm using intelize so if you are using spring tool suit it's fine it's totally fine but I would recommend you to use uh, IntelliJ, so it's quite better than Spring Tool Suit as well as Eclipse. So I strongly recommend you to use uh, this IntelliJ for uh, version control and other so to boost up your coding skill. So it's very helpful. Now let me get to the point. Mm, the first thing is you need to start the spring start spring.io so this if you click on this uh, link i mean this will redirect you to the start spring.io and the first thing is choose the project type so i'm doing a maven project so maven project so I have already published the Gradle uh, Gradle project as well so you can check in my channel and I'm choosing the language so let it be default and type the name you want Spring Boot Maven Demo so you can type as you wish so if you have other version of Java you can use 11 or 14 these are the LTS version so I am having java 8 so i'm choosing 8 and let me add the dependency to run the spring project so this is the dependency you need to run the spring boot project and so, so now that's it now generate the project and this will generate a zip folder and go to that directory of zip folder and extract wherever you want in your location so I'm extracting in the same location so you can extract wherever you want as a wish and the next thing is to open this extracted folder using your ID so if you're using STS or Eclipse um, you can use as accordingly the process is same and if you're using IntelliJ so the process is like this open your IntelliJ open the project and this will open your project I mean go to the specified location I have uh, extracted in downloads and the project name is Spring Boot Maven Demo and click OK and you are done this will automatically build your project so while it's building it takes some time we can check the documentation so this will create the pom.xml file this is the dependency file so all your dependency will be stayed in your pom.xml so in case of gradle uh, the dependency will stay in build at gradle file so in case of maven it stays in the pom.xml so difference between maven and gradle is just 
this file. Now I think yeah, it's building. It takes some time to build. Yeah, it's, it has already been built in the system. Now you can see here this is the Spring Boot application and you can also see the pom.xml file as well so this is the file for adding dependency so you can manually uh, add the other dependency as well so this is the dependency which we have added from uh, from spring.io I mean I added spring spring web so this is the same dependency we have added and these are the built-in I mean already given so this is given in all the Spring Boot project and if you want to add other dependency you can use um, you can copy or use the dependency and the name as a category so that's it now let me show a demo uh, let us so you can check the documentation as well so documentation is very fine in case of a spring boot now let me add a controller file I mean controller class so you can give your name hello controller dot java so this will create a hello controller dot java class now let me give an annotation called rest controller and click enter and your file will be automatically imported i mean this annotation will be automatically imported and let's follow the documentation request mapping so this is for the path you want to keep after localhost uh, atat or the specified port public string index and written some text whatever you want hello this is my first spring boot project and put semicolon and you're done now you can directly run from the IDE as well just click on this tab I mean this button and your Spring Boot app will run so I will be showing you how to run using command line as well and the application has been started in a localhost 8080 port so to check if it's running or not you can type local host 8080 and click enter and you can see here the text which i have typed in the hello controller is this thing here so let me close this one and let me stop the project from id so I will show you how to run this same project from command line. So if you are using uh, window, you can do same thing with command prompt and go to this location and go to open in terminal. So you can see here, this is Maven wrapper. This has been already created while creating the Spring Boot project. So you can run your project using this Maven wrapper. So first thing is you need to Maven build. So first step is to build your project. Oh, it's saying some kind of error. I don't know what kind of, I, I mean, you need to install first. Uh, M M B N W and install so this is the first step you need to do while running from your command line prompt 
I mean command line or command prompt so this will run your project so if you are working on a large project and as well as you are doing in front end stops as well so this is quite handy to use and after doing uh, Maven install so build it successful now you can run your project so mp and w maven wrapper add same thing is spring boot and type run and you are done now your project will run area command prompt or terminal so terminal in case of um, linux and command prompt in case of windows now let me check so uh, i guess i don't need to check this one but to confirm i i will check so this is started in 8080 port so let me go to the browser and type localhost 8080 now you can see here same thing using command line interface as well so that's it so you can run your project using both ide as well as command line prompt so that's it thank you so much for watching please don't forget to like and subscribe if you like the videos Thank you.